artwork is about transforming biblical passages into diary entries. Um, diary writing appealed to me for a couple of reasons. First, it has been a practice in my character to write whenever I may be, to express my deepest thoughts and ideas. And second would be my family setup. Um, having working parents and the 10-11 year age gap I have with my brother and sister moved me to write in their absence. And lastly would be my scholarship grant being selected as the first UPCFA scholar uh, to Ecole de Boza, a school of fine arts in Paris, France, gave me more reasons to write even more. I use diary writing as an art form, only that the content will emerge out of my intervention of a Bible, because I am intimately familiar with it, having spent 17 years in a Catholic university from kinder to my first degree at Ateneo de Cagayan. Having the Bible as my grand, I would randomly open the Bible pages and look for the words or phrase that struck me most. Having found that word that best describe my feelings at the moment or my experience of the day, I will omit through burning the unnecessary words, leaving behind what is only essential for me as my um, diary entry of the day. Burning as a method has duality in it. Positively, it may represent the burning bush in the Old Testament when God appeared to Moses, and negatively, it may represent the fires of hell. It may also represent, on the other hand, the purgatory in the Catholic perspective, but it can also symbolize the Holy Spirit in the form of fire or cloven tongue. But personally, burning is part of my childhood. In my growing years, I used to write on walls that my mother would get upset because they had to repaint the wall again. So young as I was, I took a piece of paper and wrote a letter to my mom asking for an apology never to do it again. And the only art I knew back then was to burn the side of the paper to make it a love letter to my mom. So reflectively, it is like writing a letter to my God and burning letter by letter is a meditative approach for me. Then I decided to change location. Somehow it might induce a different approach in my process from a holy bible into something that is very personal so i went to rome vatican venice tuscany florence rotterdam belgium amsterdam germany paris to collect bibles and transform them into a diary It was a privilege to be invited at Lopez Museum and the logic of justification with my work along with Jose Rizal's letters and his two novels is to somehow or some way to rethink that Rizal's work were also unaccepted during his time but now considered to be a very important piece of our history. As of the moment, a number of people find my work to be offensive but sooner I know they would accept it as it is. In my body of works, I use cauterization as a diaristic intervention employed to a canonical manuscript or the Bible, which actually exposes the boundary between what is sacred and what is profane and of institutionally prescribed and of individuality. So currently, I'm still continuing my wall-bound burnout series and having accumulated 
12 Bibles from my travels in Europe, I intend to push through with my art project, which is to collect 40 Bibles from 40 different cities worldwide, retracing the, 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 the roots of how the Bible traveled. At the same time, the number 40 is significant number for spiritual experience. Mm-hmm.